How to use the five whys to root out cause analysis. If you want to get to the root of a problem, the five whys is a simple but powerful tool. By repeatedly asking, why, you can peel back the layers of a problem to find its true cause. The five whys is often used in business settings as part of quality control or continuous improvement processes. But it can be applied anywhere. Whether you're trying to troubleshoot an issue at work, solve a personal problem, or understand why something happened. Here's how to use the five whys. 1. Define the problem. This can be anything from a small annoyance to a major setback. 2. Ask, why, five times. For each answer, ask, why, again until you reach the root cause of the problem. 3. Identify the root cause. This is usually the underlying reason why the problem occurred in the first place. Once you've identified it, you can start brainstorming solutions. Keep in mind that the five whys isn't always linear. Sometimes you'll have to backtrack or explore different paths before finding the true cause of a problem. But if you keep asking, why, eventually you'll get to the bottom of it. What is the five whys? The five whys is a simple but powerful tool for root cause analysis. By repeatedly asking, why, about a problem, you can drill down to its root cause. This is especially useful when trying to solve complex problems with many potential causes. There are several benefits to using the five whys. One. It forces you to think critically about a problem and its potential causes. 2. It helps you identify both direct and indirect causes of a problem. 3. It helps you narrow down your focus to the most important causes of a problem. 4. It can be used by people of all skill levels, from beginners to experts. How to use the five whys. The first step in using the five whys is to define the problem. This may seem like a simple task, but it's important to be as specific as possible. For example, rather than simply stating, the car won't start, it's better to say, the car won't start when I turn the key. This will help you to better identify the root cause of the problem. Step 2. Ask why five times. Once you've defined the problem, it's time to ask why five times. This may seem like a lot, but it's important to keep asking until you get to the root cause of the problem. For example, if your car won't start when you turn the key, you might ask. Why won't the car start when I turn the key? Because the engine isn't turning over. Why isn't the engine turning over? Because there's no spark. Why is there no spark? Because the spark plugs are fouled. Why are the spark plugs fouled? Because they haven't been replaced in a while. Conclusion the five whys is a simple yet powerful tool that can help you root out the cause of a problem. By asking why five times, you can drill down to the heart of the matter and identify the real issue. This technique is especially useful when you're trying to solve complex problems. If you're looking to improve your problem-solving skills, start using the five whys. It's a simple yet effective way to get to the bottom of things.